this week on Dom Questions Smart Answers. Dumb questions, smart answers. Rollo Doggo asks, how many savage dogs have ham with Jamie Vardy in Nara? That guy asks, why is a building called a building if it is already built? Bob asks, is this a dumb question? And the winner for this week's Dumb Questions Smart Answers is... That guy with why is a building called a building if it is already built? Mr. Crasty will be answering that shortly. Thanks, Gus. Now, quite an interesting question, hey? Two theories that I know of. One, a building is called a building because you never stop building it. Once it's built, you have to maintain it, which means more building. The other theory, quite strange. I have heard that the word building came about because of one man, an Anglo-Chinese man called Bill Ding. Thank you, Mr. Krusty, for that insightful answer. If you want your question answered on Like Art TV, submit it here, or find it on the Like Art Media website here. Thank you, and good night. Hey guys, Snack Jar here, back with an all new canteen food review, coming straight from Life Here we go! Here we go, we're on a roll, we're just like nobody knows. If you have a point to prove, make the plan and see it through. They'll sign you up for the show. For our first meal, we are going to be trying the canteen's favourite lasagna. First impressions, looks good, smells good. Sounds good. Feeling? Uh, could be better, but uh, let's see if it can really stimulate the sense of taste. So, uh... Now, let me just say, I uh, had a few higher hopes for this one. It's not great, could be a little better, to be honest. The cheese sort of overpowers the other flavors, so to speak. I'll give the value a, a four out of 10. Presentation, a five out of 10. The taste, maybe a 3 out of 10, and the overall, overall I would give it a 4 out of 10. So uh, that's my review on the canteen's uh, lasagna. Let's, let's see if we can move on to any more exciting meals. Who's that Pokemon? Hi, I'm Siri. Did you know I have an amazing singing voice? Do you want to hear it? Well, I don't care either way. Here is Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. A rocket ship on my way to Mars. On a collision course, I am a satellite. I'm out of control, I am a sex machine ready to reload like an atom bomb about to oh, 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 explode. I'm burning through the skies, yay, 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mrs. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I want to make a supersonic woman of you. Don't want to stop at all. Now kids, it's, it's very important to have representatives from all the food groups, which is why we are eating a Fairy Floss Force Field flavour, Icy Pop. A little cold for my liking, but I can see the appeal. I would give this a uh, 10 out of 10 for that. The taste, uh, a solid 4. The pink does not really complement the yellow and clear on the outside, but I, uh, I could see the appeal. Overall opinion, solid 6 out of 10. Solid 6 out of 10, I'd say. Not all heroes wear capes. Meet VG, Violetta, and Fred. They return order to the chaos we create. But it don't gotta be this way. You wouldn't do it in their face, so don't do it behind their back.
Topic. Too old to play Pokemon Go is rather difficult to define. What's that you say? Pokemon? You're never too old to play Pokemon. I think that Pokemon Go can be very dangerous for young and old people. My 17 year old said, you played Pokemon? No, stop. And I did. People are too immature and irresponsible and they do not know how to act properly on the street or they just cannot act use the phones as well as we can. There's been a lot of injuries happening with Pokemon Go such as falling off cliffs or just tripping over. Some people did grow up playing the original Pokemon games and so Pokemon is a core part of their life and what they grew up with. The main thing is there's other people out there that might be trying to get you and kidnap you and that sounds really creepy so I'm gonna leave now. Uh, mm, uh, uh, 12?